your mind, your body, and your soul. It's the power to arouse curiosity, the purpose, the goal which one acts on, a journey of force hot like the sun and wet like the rain. Rhythmic movements in unison with others prolong an act of sensation with no limits or boundaries. Eternity is past. Wrong is right. <laughs> The ultimate seduction <laughs> Yes, I have officially re-emerged from the wonderful world of Skyrim. That's right, my name is Icebeck here. Once again on the stream, they have decided to de mothball me with all the pleasure that that brings. Earlier today, we had a CVC, uh, well, let's see, a loser finals, consolation final, whatever it was. I was not there because I was still busy killing dragons. The final itself is coming up in the next few days. And of course, we got ourselves E Series Maximus, which all enjoys that, though that brings. Today, however, it is time for one of the heavy media tournaments it's Asus Rock versus IMAX. They're going to be starting out here on Strike, followed by Crossfire. It is a best of three. It is the Constellation Final for third and fourth place. And this could take a while. Now, right now, we're just waiting for one of the players in the server. It's going to be Elastic. Let's just go over these teams all around us, shall we? It's IMAX with Lucky, Bro uh, Broco, Blar. Oh, wow. These, uh, this is always great about these teams from Eastern Europe. They always have these very, very creative names that nobody's able to pronounce. We'll take go to Aces Rock instead. Crack, Warts, Brew, Turbo, Elastic, and Monty. Let's take it away. Let's take it live, live, live. You know what? I'm going to go throughout the scopes just to kick this off. Just, just, there we go. We'll go through the scopes. We'll go to Turbo on Aces Rock. Let's kick this off. It's the defending side here for Aces Rock. They did lose their knife side here. We are on strike, and he's going to be hopping up on that cavity. There's nobody going to be there. He won't be able to knock off any of these initial shots, and that's going to hurt so far. So the initial shots have not been set. There's no nades going out, no anything like that. So a little bit of pacing. See, that works right there, but you should have gotten that kill. Headshot will finish that one off. Deagle broing it like a pro. And so far, one for one. Let's cycle through. Let's take see what Elastic is doing. SMGing it up still has managed to get himself in a defending position on the side. And right now, IMAX are doing all too swell. 
normally you want to get into towards that side very, very quickly in order to get on the statue, on the side, get the bomb down, get the hell out of there, and then then win the game, which is currently not the case because Aces Rock are all over the place. Even though we got ourselves one of the scope heads, Broco, we'll just go with. Sitting, st sitting steady all the time, making sure he can find himself a pick. He knows there is one right below him. Uh, seeing an underlook, Deagle out, knows that that scope's not going to work very, very well. Unless your name is Anno, but he's not on this server. So far, we're already having ourselves a fairly tense first round. Flay will be the fast, last man standing here for IMAX. He's got himself 18 seconds. Picks up the first kill. Needs to get 1v1 on Monty. Can he clutch it out? Monty ready. Sitting by it all. He sees him. He sees him. Does he tag him? Yes, he does. It's 1-0. to nil. Aces Rock will pick up the first one. But a very, very... Mm, what can only be described as a very... Difficult round, to say the least. Managing to um, slowly but steadily wrestle themselves through after a very, very long round. And I f see appear to have crashed, I think. And so is mine. It looks like there's going to be an issue with the server. Interesting, yeah. Mine's hanging as well. We'll just take that time in the meanwhile just to uh, take a look at this actual tournament. Esports haven't managed to uh, kick off this tournament earlier. And uh, both these teams did lose versus two teams that are definitely not something that, um, yeah, that, that, that you have to be disappointed about. Because you get uh, Team Rock, Aces Rock losing versus Isuba. Isuba being one of those old school names. And we got IMAX losing versus the Ballers. Now, the Ballers and Isuba will be meeting themselves in the grand final, which is coming up. However, IMAX managed to knock out Phantasma. Okay, then the Phantasma Gore. IMAX managed to knock out Phantasma Goria early in this tournament, as Aces Rock managed to knock out both Red Link and Yoyo Tech earlier on. So I'm quickly going to reconnect to the server uh, just to make sure that we have all everything in gear. Getting ready. All right, so we were on strike. I'm just wondering whether or not we're going to need the full reset. No, we've actually not have ourselves a reset. We already managed to lose one round, I guess. I'm not quite sure what is going on right now. Yeah, it is one nil right now. So if everybody would just like to ready up, that'd be awesome. But the score is one the nil at the moment. But what we already mentioned was a difficult, difficult first round. For both teams, really. Because we had IMAX with a very, very... Um, again, it's been... Um it's been interrupted. You know what? We're going to go for a quick break as we're trying to sort this issue. Uh, we'll be right, right back here on the stream to see whether or not we're going to be continuing on this server or if we're going to be re relocating. So don't go anywhere as Aces Rock or a Team Rock is also known versus IMAX will continue very, very shortly. Two thousand and eleven has revealed the truth. And now... It's no secret. Hardstyle is the greatest sound in the history of dance music. Experts from around the world racking their brains to understand how we make it happen. They are obviously missing the point because the answer is clear for anyone to hear. We would like to introduce to you the eighth note. Our eighth note. The eighth note of hard style.
For a slight hiccup, managed to get ourselves back in the gear. It's still Team Rock versus IMX here. We had a quick, quick server issue, which we needed to resolve. So we're quickly resetting for that as Team IMX decided to go and mass suicide on them because the score was only one to zero in favor of uh, Rock just now. Let's take it away on Rock's side, actually. Once again, on the scope, it's going to be Turbo rocking it off. He's most likely going to get onto its canopy straight away, then hop onto its wall, unless those smokes are going to come out, which is going to be happening right here. Managed to see the first two nades hit right off the bat. Both teams down to one. And now he's going to need to rotate quickly to make sure nobody manages to get... Is he just behind Bins right there? On connector. He sees one. Does he manage to get the pick? Man, does not manage to pick it up. Bit of a slow movement here for Team Rock. This turbo is a little bit lagging behind. Switch over to Lucky IMAX. AKing it through mid shops. He's going to need to watch out, but it does look like right now that team uh, IMAX has decided to go for that B site. No, actually, never mind. There's two of them sitting by A. I'm going to see if they have the bomb. Yes, they do. It's BLR. He's sitting statue. Having a bomb, AK in hand. Now, they've got themselves 40 seconds in order to get that bomb in. And if it is, this is going to be the rest of the matchup, then this could be a very, very dull and long game. Something completely different than we saw earlier today with, uh, with the CVC uh, lower bracket final, or consolation final, as it's also known. But 21 seconds to go. Switching over to Brocco. All right, it looks like they're going to go for A. The push is on. Turbo on the connect. Lucky gets the first one on towards Turbo. The push is in. The smokes are on the site. It's time to get that bomb down. Lucky getting tagged up. Two of IMAX. Two of Aces trying to get in through the back of the site. It's Monty all the way in the back. Does not manage to pick it up. It's 0-2. to two. It's a clock ticked all the way down. And that right there is going to put the end to the round. Taking it away. This... My apologies. Up towards double palms. Quick setup. He, they're actually expecting a double nade to go across the street, and Bronco quickly takes him down. Wards down on the streets. Monty, in the meantime, AK in hand, overlooking mid -side. There's nothing much going on here. Even though he has the issue, there's smoke everywhere. He won't be able to find anything. Quickly on the defense, on towards the side, planting himself firmly in towards that ground. And IMAX already two, being two down. Inside of the cafe. And my phone rings. Nice. Lucky in the meantime. Holding steady. Eight. By mid shops. It's just crack remaining for Rock. And there you have it. It's one to two. Took him a while. But uh, after losing the first two, Team Ifec and Maximax arrested themselves back. would appear that there is a rogue person the lineup of IMAX who's called ES if you can quickly go to the board I 
Blacks uh, have uh, six on their team. At least as far as I can see. Must be overview bug, but we'll have to see. Uh, taking away Turbo. Battle sitting just by B. First nade coming down. Trying to pick, push somebody through. Managed to get Flay down. Very well done. And that will be leave Brocco the scope as the last man standing. Sitting in under in mid shops. Needs to cross. He's going to die if he gets to the bomb. If he goes for the bomb now, he will die very, very quickly. There he goes. On the rush. Does somehow manage to pick up the bomb. Can he... Two on site. Managed to get the first. Two more to go. Need to watch out because one of them is rotating. One of Rock is all rotating all the way behind through Statue. He uh, needs to pick up this pick up this opening. He's got himself 20 seconds. Who is it? It's going to be Elastic. Elastic moving up on towards Statue. Sees the first. Can he get the shot? No, does not connect. Brocco has got himself 30 seconds. Planting. Planting turtle coming in. Can he get the pick? Brocco gets a plant. And all he now needs to do now is survive and get this clutch out of the way. Gets the first. Can he get the second? Very, very careful play here. Has the time. Does not need to peek. You do not need to peek there, mate. Gets it! Two to two. What a round. Very well done. Last second bomb plant. Making it two to two. And there will be a little bit of a cheer in that TS channel or Ventrilo channel and or Mumble. We are not really. Yeah, we're equal opportunity race hits here on, uh, on Chaos TV. It's all good. It's all good. But their team is going to go for a little bit of a cheer there. And there's Scope. Save the day. I'll take it over to Rock Crack. Crack Rock. Crack Rock will be the one. Yes, that's your new name, good friend. Crack. For Rock. In mid shops. Taking it very, very, very slow. Waiting for somebody to come by. Does little does he know that there is in fact a person behind him rotating going to be lucky for IMAX, who's all the way over B. But they are defending. The score being 2-2. Two to two. After an absolutely sublime little play by the uh, scope from IMAX before. Turbo says no, though. All the way in the back from the B site. Holds it steady. Leaving IMAX with only two players remaining. BLR and their scope once again. Let's take over to Broco. He's got this BLR with the bomb. <laughs> Gets knife for his troubles. Turbo whips it out. It's three to two. For Team Rock. Quickly referred to as Aces Rock. Five rounds played. I'm going to need myself a drink. Nope. All right, let's try it like this. When we last laughed on our intrepid heroes, it was five rounds in. The score is two to three with two men down on both teams. It is, in fact, Aces Rock versus Team IMAX. Oh, IMAX's scope being completely, really, really survived. by under and or overlook in towards Little Cafe. 2-2 two to two now. Again, a 2-2 two to two situation. It's gone back and forth and back and forth between these two teams. Very, very close together throughout. Now, after this, we will be moving on towards Crossfire. And maybe even a third map. It will have to be. 29 seconds remaining. I'm next to the last man standing. And that's going to make it 4-2 to two for Aces. Team Rock. Aces Rock, even. Take it away. IMAX Lucky on the assault. Set nades are coming out. Deagle in hand. Another nade coming out. Smokes in the middle of the street. Looks like it's going to be a full-on A strike with a B rotate from Lucky. Through he goes. Gets the first. Can he get a shot here on double palms? Locking him down. Yes, it looks like it's going to be the case. All the way rotating around. Through B-House. 
Two players are on site. Do, does Rock still have Turbo in the back of B? Yes, he does. But Turbo sitting in the back of B. He's completely under useless right here. He won't be able to shoot anybody down. And it's going to be the rest of his team holding it steady. Flay, IMAX, middle of the street. On statue. And these entry kicks, entry picks right here are going to be very, very crucial. He won't be able to do it, though. Gets cross-fired. Leaving just their scope I'm from IMAX. Again, gets Turbo down for the first. Can he do it again? Can he get himself a ah, trick out of this one? Does not get his, himself flashed out in there. And he does have the bomb, but he's going to get crossfired right here if he doesn't watch out. As it happens, sees the Cirrus first, gets killed by the second. It is, in fact, 5-2. to two. Oh, dear. All right. Round eight. So far, the last three have been won by Team Rock. Their stats seem to be doing just fine. Rock with uh, two players on seven. BLR almost having himself a 007 there, even though he managed to get himself a single assist. Taking it slow. Turbo. Overlooking. <laughs> How he managed to land that is a little bit beyond me. Managed to get the first. Is ready to look for another one. And IMAX momentum from round number three, where they managed to get that ridiculous clutch play from their scope, was really, really cru crucial for the morale. Keeping it up. May we actually want to see that one back later on in this series. We'll have to see. But in the meantime, BLR will be the last man standing here for IMAX. That bomb is in a horrific, horrific spot. He's never going to retrieve it from there unless he picks it up by statue now, which is never going to happen. All right. Surprises everybody. It doesn't matter. He's dead. It's 7-2. to two. Uh, Make that 6-2. to two. My apologies. With... Team Rock managing to win the last four in a row now. Surprise for everybody. Just when you think you got a commentator convinced that he's going to be doing one thing, he just had that move in him. He's got to move in that direction. Going to have to call it. And then suddenly, he's got everybody fooled. Gets himself the bomb. And crack right now, being LOL aggressive. Three man right behind him. What was he doing in Underlook? What were you doing in Underlook, Derek Crack? There are three men there. The bomber is there. Sure, you can get behind them. But if they're taking it slow, if you don't have your scope there, peeking it out, you had Turbo sitting on the wall. You know what they're going to be doing. The smoke can't be that bad. You know their movements, so why push in? Why push in? Three to three. Turbo getting himself another. Getting himself the scope. Being looked up on towards Little Calf. Elasa getting himself another one. Turbo. Again. Get way to finish it up there, Turbo. It's 2-7. to seven. And we are only a few runs remaining from halftime. And 2-7 to seven is a rather bad score for Strike, to say the least. Let's take it away from Lucky. IMAX. Again, by himself. Hector. Trying to stagger his way in. Gets taken down for his trouble. Monty, Awards, and Crack both getting himself a single. Turbo being uh, tagged up. Not going to help. Monty gets himself the double. Let's take a look at what he's doing. He needs to get himself one more for the hat trick. He's probably rather keen of getting it. BLR to me. He says, no, I'm not going to stand for this. Gets himself two. Monty, on the other hand, is like, yeah, I'm just going to quickly chill back here, y'all. Sit back at a sight. Because Turbo's got this. It's 8-2. to two. And that was a horrific accident. My apologies. I will never do that one again. I saw that Skyrim. That's their issue. I've been playing that game for a... Well, I actually had no time to play it on the weekend because I was doing other things. But still... 
pretty decent. Lucky in the meantime. Picks up on Crack. Crack, who's been pretty much an unguided, yeah, unguided bomb all over this place. Let's, let's take a look at the stats. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Crack. Eight kills, nine deaths. SMG, sure, but he's not doing all too swell. And now aces are just pretty much tearing down the pants of IMAX and giving it a good spanking because they have managed to win the last five rounds back to back and we are two rounds away from overtime. It is not not looking good at all for IMAX right now. And remember, this is a consolation final. Monty will pick himself yet up another one just outside a statue. It's going to be BLR Bronco. Let's take it away on BLR as he sits on B site and we may actually see our first plant from IFA IMAX since round number two. It doesn't gonna happen though because uh, Water is all over that hizzle. He's gonna just look to the right and pick up the kill. He's gonna get himself to defuse and it's gonna be nine the two. Devastating play. Devastating play here from Rock. On a completely different note, I was at I-44 the other week. Did anybody see that Phantasmagoria mix with Lowland Lions? I thought I was pretty baller. If you know, I did not comment at the actual final, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, it turns out that Ano is, uh, is quite, the, quite the guy. Quite the guy. He does like his alcohol. It's pretty good. Pretty good. IMAX in the meantime. With Lucky, all the way by Flower Shop. Monty on a rampage to switch over to him as he had to get himself a double. What's in the meantime, switching over to him as well. Quickly flashing it through the wall, not getting any tags whatsoever as Turbo whips it out again. Yopa, who the hell's Yopa? Well, I'm sure that'll resolve itself sooner or later. Whoever he was, he's dead now. With Lucky is the last man standing. Gets himself a single on towards Turbo, winning two back-to-back, -back, making it a 1v1. Crack is right behind him, though. He's going to need to wait. SMG versus AK. Lucky by Connector. Going B. Where is Crack? Sitting mid-shops. Is he going to peek? Is he going to get the peek? Is he going to get the peek? Yes, he will get that peek. Making 2-10. to ten. You get half time. And what a half time it was. So getting ready up. Right now, Team Rock are only three rounds away of taking this first map and moving on towards Crossfire, which is IMAX's favorite out of this one. And if they manage to, if they manage to wrestle themselves out of that situation, then they should be fine for a third one. We'll have to see. In the meantime, though, let's take it away. Uncrack. Crack, who has been rather disappointing throughout the first half. And it looks like it's going to be a full-on rush by, Crack, by Aces Rock right now. Right on towards the site, and we see a completely different face from this team right here. IMAX did not do any tactics like this throughout the first round. Always stagger entries right on towards that A site. Something you would not see very, very often on this particular map. Now, right now, Rock do have themselves a single person on the site, and who is probably covering that statue? BLR will pick him up. But the Bortz has the bomb on the site. And now it's only a question of time. Unless, unless Setney comes in. Whoa, whoa. Borgo gets himself a 2 uh, plus 10, as he should. And all of a sudden, it's just Monty remaining. Now, Monty has gotten himself out of a bigger pickle than this before. But right now, he's definitely not looking very, very good. Gets himself the first, though. And they will know where he is. He's got himself 36 seconds. A versus play and a scope. Scope will take him down. And that will be the hat trick for the scope. And it's going to be... 10 the 3 for the first round in a very, very long time for our good friends. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 8 rounds. No, mate. No, that's wrong. That's wrong since round 3. So that's 9 rounds since uh, IMAX managed to get themselves a round. That's pretty horrific. And some of these, some of these rounds should have gone to IMAX, to say the least. But the individual play of Aces of uh, Team Rock so far seems to be absolutely sublime. And in all honesty, I do believe that they should win this actual setup right here. Now, I'm, I'm personally looking forward towards the coming weekend, Friday morning at around 10 a.m. We will be starting streaming of the E-Series Maximus from just outside of Amsterdam, made possible by Android. So we'll have to 
be sure to check in for those matches because it's going to be three days of nothing, nothing but awesome on the in the land of Call of Duty. Now Turbo gets himself the plant, Monty gets himself a double, and all of a sudden it's 11 to 3. As I managed to blabber through an entire round of absolutely nothing. See, and that's how I roll. I... Meanwhile, let's take a look at Lucky from IMAX switching over to Shotgun. Never mind, AK. For a second there, I thought he was going to go for Koa style Shotgun. It wasn't a beat. Monty will pick himself up the first, though. Let's switch over to him, AKing it up. So right now, I don't think IMAX are really. Really wanting to, yeah. I think I think they're on the verge of pretty much leaving this ra this map for what it is. Even though they do get themselves three back to back, make that four. Turbo last man standing. He's got himself the bomb though on overlook, and suddenly it's eleven to four. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's make it into watch round sixteen. Let's take it on towards Lucky once again. Set nades are coming out. Expecting somebody to come through connector, no doubt. Getting tagged up himself a little bit. Yopa gets himself two. Turbo and Wards down in a scope and an AK. They're going to be expecting a full-on push on towards B. But what they don't know is that their entire lineup, the entire lineup of Limax, is over at A. Except for one guy. And that's going to be... That is going to be... Lucky. Now it's going to be Flay, who is just chilling. Bronco is having himself a match of a lifetime, getting him scope after scope, and all of a sudden it's Flay all by himself. Should have picked that up, as he does, gets elastic, and suddenly it's a 1v1. It's Crack versus Flay, SMG versus SMG. You know, Crack is going to be able to pick up that bomb if it wasn't in the most horrific spot possible, because Flay is going to pick up that wall season. Got a not, not unable to pick up this first one. Sees the peek over the wall. Crack will pick up a little bit of a tag. Flay is between a rock and a hard place. Quite literally, or between a palm and a hard place. Look the sort of cross is not going to be able to pick this up. Crack managed to somehow out, get out of there. But the party's not done yet. Could go through mid shots. Is so incredibly keen on getting this. I don't think I don't think Flay knows. Flay doesn't know. Knife. No! Crack will pick it up. It's 12 to 4. It's a round point. Map point for Team Aces. 12 to 4. For those people that have just tuned in, welcome. Welcome to Chaos TV. My name is Hey Spec, your wonderful, wonderful host here for this matchup. I have returned from the land of Skyrim to give you all the coverage that you would ever want for Call of Duty. And consider this your warmer upper for the upcoming weekend. In the meantime, it is, in fact, Aces Rock versus Imax. Elastic is on the site, as Aces Rock has perfected themselves with an amazing, well-pushed play on towards that A-side. And I re really stopped talking like Explosive William Shatner. Planted. Aces Rock with four men on the site. Good half being called, and we're going to be moving on towards Crossfire. There you have it. It's going to be 13 the 4 here on strike with... A struggle, a struggle in the last rounds here for 